Hi guys, I'm Darren from KingfisherComputers.co.uk if you don't already know me. Okay, here we go. Recently I've had quite a few clients in with issues with passwords. Uh, one in particular was an Asian doctor, a well-known surgeon uh, in the North East, whose email had been hacked. Um, obviously, the, it wasn't brute force, it was a guest password. Um, and when the nitty gritty came down to it, it was a family member who'd logged in uh, this doctor's email and was sending malicious emails to other family members from his account. Obviously, I went round, we changed the password and made it secure. Um, obviously, the family member who got in was the person who originally set the email up um, and it was quite a simple password. So, let's get to the bottom of it. Securing your password or making sure your password is secure important really um, a lot of people seem these days to use simple passwords like password query i used to like that one query one two three please let me in one two three another one i always like to use used sorry um so how do we ideally create a secure password you could use password generators websites like passwordgenerator.org Put your password in and it will generate a password from that password. Not really ideal because you're not necessarily going to remember that password. So if ever you go to log into your account, then maybe you might be sat there five, ten minutes trying to work out what that password was. So what would I do? What would my advice be? Simple. Don't use something that someone knows. Right? Don't use simple words. If I was to hack an account or someone was to hack an account, what you generally do is you know your target. So generally, the hacker or person trying to get in would use words that they think you might use. Um, my advice, again, use all phone numbers. Um, personally, I, what I used to use uh, for my password, an uh, old mobile phone number, which I used 10 years ago and obviously it sat in the back of my mind. Um, but what I'd do with that, I'd change the numbers to letters, to zero, to O, one, to I, etc. And then put ASCII character, like question mark, hash. Obviously that increases the, uh, the strength of the password. So simple, for example, the phone number for Kingfish Computers is 01429 So, how could I change that into a secure password? Well, we change the zero, to an O, the one, to an I, or one, four, two, nine, eight, uh, two, eight, change the eight to a B, zero, O again, uppercase and lowercase, let's mix them up. Then obviously at the end, use question marks, exclamation marks. Obviously, we, we just want to deter someone from getting in. So it's a simple way, and more importantly, you're gonna remember what the password is. So <clears throat> if you have an issue with Securing your passwords, or you can't think of a password to use. Why not use this simple suggestion? Um, thank you very much. I'm Darren from Kingfish Computers. Have a good day. Thanks, bye.